Hello folks, I want to make this really quick. I see negative feedback, and of course you're going to get negative feedback. It's the internet. People are never going to like everything you say, nor should you expect that they would. If you do, then you're you know fooling yourself. But regardless, there's one argument that I want to uh, handle though, and it's very, very important because it's a, a major logical fallacy that bothers me a little bit. So far I've received very little negative feedback on my current video about uh, radioactivity and rain, but it specifically has been the same basic argument. I'm saying that the reason that my rainwater was highly, well, it's not highly radioactive at all, it was very minorly radioactive, but the reason that it, was, that it was above my normal background by, you know, 10, 20 times whatnot is because of radon washout, and I proved it empirically. Because I say that, then that must mean that I'm suggesting that Fukushima did not happen, or that it's nothing to worry about, or it, it can't be in the rainwater. That is the, the argument people are making against the video. This is completely unfounded if you actually watch the whole video. Now, to your defense, I give you credit. It's an hour-long video, so you may not have watched it all. I can understand if you saw the first part, came to that conclusion, and then left, because it is an hour-long video. I mean, I give you that. It's an hour-long video. But if you watch the whole thing, you'll see that that is not what I'm saying. By the way, I'm wearing this glove because I'm a um, testing a uranium sample in just a minute, but I, I just saw this and thought I should point this out. I provide links in my details for places where you can go read studies that show just how much radiation came from Fukushima in the very first few days, and it was humongous amounts, uh, anywhere from uh, 25 to 50 petabecquerels. Petabecquerels. That is a ludicrous amount of radiation. What is that, a thousand times greater than a terabecquerel? which is a thousand times greater than a gigabecquerel, which is a thousand times greater than a megabecquerel, which is a thousand times better. It's a hell of a lot of radiation, okay? So nobody's denying that. I have found cesium-137 in my rainwater, and I, 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 I've, I explained that during the video several times. I also explained during the video that while I found the radon washout, it is perfectly possible that there could also be cesium-137 or cesium-134 in the rainwater. I doubt it would be very much because it wasn't very prominent in the spectrum on the spectrum, yeah, spectrox, I took multiple. And I also explained that after 10 days time when the radon washout has decayed away, I will test it again and look for the cesium-137. And then I showed you a rainwater, I didn't show you the rainwater collection bucket. I take that back, I didn't show it to you, but I told you about it. And I have two more months worth of water saved in, because remember last time I found cesium-137 in a rainwater collection bucket. So I'm trying, I mean, I'm actually looking for the thing that I'm supposedly denying, which makes no sense. It is what's called an equivocation fallacy. It's kind of like, um, I can't think of a good analogy for it, but it, to say that because I didn't find significant cesium-137 in my rainwater, thus immediately follows that I'm denying Fukushima and there's nothing to worry about, blah, blah, is not intellectually honest. It's a little bit insulting to me, but then again, I, you know, it's the internet. But it's almost useless to complain about insults on the internet. Everybody flames one another, um, but it is a little bit. It just, it's... I just want to make sure you understand that that is not what I'm saying. So just in case somebody's not watched the whole one-hour video, because it is an hour long. It's a hideously long video. I apologize for that. I want it to be clear. Um, and my problem isn't with conspiracy theorists. I've had many discussions with several pretty prominent you know, conspiracy theorists, and I've, I've made this point clear to them. Conspiracies occur. Secret stuff happens. I mean, it, it, even if you don't believe some of the current ones, if nothing more, I mean, look at Julius Caesar. I mean, that's kind of old ones, kind of cliche, I guess. But but 13 guys came, came together and decided to stab him in the back. I mean, there's a, if nothing more, there's one valid conspiracy theory. And there's other ones that exist, too. There's thousands of them. God only knows how many of them were never found. So they do exist. But the problem that we're having today is people coming to the conclusion that everything said by the official, any official source must be wrong because it is said by an official source. And in, it, in its own way, it's almost as bad as... as as the bad things the official sources do. It's like the other side. It's like, if here's where you should be, and here's total gullibility and whatever's told to you, well, here's their side. They're like beyond, they're like the opposite of it. So, and not all of them. Some of them are, some of them aren't. So you have to try to be somewhat in the middle of, and you have to actually balance fact, as opposed to thinking that anything told you is wrong because it was told to you officially. That's, that's, that's just as bad as... Uh, 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 believing everything that's told you is somehow true, because we know that neither of these are correct. You have to be somewhere in between, and the truth may not be easy to find. Fukushima, though, is pretty obvious. It happened. I mean, the damn thing blew up. I watched all three of them blow up on CNN, okay? It's not like it was hidden or a conspiracy. It happened. It went all over the place. I detected it in my rainwater. It rained upon us. 
more powerful equipment that's out there detected uh, larger amounts of it. But a Geiger counter just simply isn't going to pick up now, this point, a year plus later, it's not going to pick up huge dumps of it sitting on top of your car. And if it did, if that's exactly what it was, I would have been able to detect it in my spectrum. And I didn't. And it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. All right? It just means that that wasn't what was making my Geiger counter go crazy, which was the point of the video. So please keep it in perspective a little bit. All right? I'm disabling comments for this, not because I'm hiding your, you know, your opinions and preventing you from knowing the truth, but because you can put them in the actual rainwater video, which is the whole point. This is almost like just a, a video comment because I couldn't type it all in the little stupid 500 character box. So please put it in the rainwater video, which I will link back to from this. So this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and no offense to anybody, I'm sure you'll take it anyway, uh, but please, facts, facts.